I believe that the green shift is possible. We can't shut down industries because uh, the industries produce things we need. We need to find ways to continue their operations, but at the same time doing that with less and less carbon footprint until eventually they are net zero. Yara is a large company. The largest nitrogen-based fertilizer producer in the world, basically. There's 17,000 people working in Yara. We are present in all continents. With a turnover of 12 billion US dollars. We are a lot of people on this earth. People need to eat. But we strive to do that in the most sustainable way possible. We got in touch with Energy Nest in 2017 to investigate technology to see if there was potential there. Energy Nest is a company that has developed a thermal battery. And a thermal battery is like a thermos. We fill it up with heat, we store it, and then we can release that heat again later. The thermal battery is directly connected to the steam network. During charge, high pressure steam enters the battery at the top and gradually condenses as it flows downwards, heating up the modules. The condensate exits at the bottom and is stored in the pressure vessel. At the same time, the temperature and pressure in the system increases and the battery is fully charged when the vessel is full of condensate. During discharge, the flow direction is reversed. Condensate from the vessel flows in at the bottom and gradually evaporates as it flows upwards, cooling down the modules. At the same time, steam is also produced in the vessel through flashing. Both steam lines merge above the vessel, and the battery control system ensures on-demand supply of dry steam back to the steam network. So in the project with Yara, we have connected the battery directly to their steam grid. It's absolutely scalable. It's a modular technology, and it can be scaled up to, to any size. A thermal battery can be one important solution to help decarbonize that industry. It can use energy which is otherwise wasted, basically surplus energy in the form of steam, or even electricity which otherwise would be curtailed. And it can store that energy and discharge it at a later point in time when it actually has a value. Then it would displace energy produced from fossil fuels. We will save about 12 gigawatt hours per year of electricity import. We will be able to store 4 megawatt hours of thermal energy and our indirect CO2 emissions will reduce with about 6 kilotons per year. We are technology based. Technology is what we do. And this is a technology that we believe will work. The green shift is possible. It will take effort, it will take time take courage. You, you cannot just sit back and relax and do nothing. I mean, that's no option. Uh, we need to do something. And then you better be ahead of the pack than uh, a follower. It is very simple. And simplicity means essentially that things cost less. And you know, what we really need to make the green shift happen quicker is to bring down the cost of renewable energy and sustainable energy that is key in order to replace fossil fuels.